It's another bum bag. This time, this is the Louis Vuitton bum bag. I had the Gucci previously. I ordered it in the smallest size, which fit my waist, uh, but it did not fit a uh, crossbody as a sling bag. So I'm gonna just take you through this bum bag. I sold the Gucci, I don't plan on selling this one, and show you the pros and cons and how this one fits on someone who is of petite size. Now, you should know that this one comes in a one size fits all. And as I will demonstrate, one size does not exactly fit all. So the first thing, um, I have this bag as small as you could physically possibly make it. So the way this works is you have uh, this side which has all of the holes and then you have this side which has a strap that you can double up using this right here. And I have it doubled as much as you can possibly double it, all right? And you just take this side and you put the buckle in and you would put it on like a belt. So let me show you. This is as absolutely small as you can possibly make it. It is larger in size than the Gucci, which is perfect. It holds everything. It actually holds more than the Palm Springs mini backpack. So I'm gonna take my two sides here and this is as far, like I could probably get another hole, like someone to punch another hole over here, but I don't know if it's gonna make that much of a difference, but it is something I'm gonna look into in the future. So the first thing you'll notice is when it is doubled up, you have this extra long um, sort of pull, and it's, it's new, this just arrived yesterday, so it hasn't had a lot of time to break in, but even if I had that extra hole here, um, this is not going to be a waste bag on me. Like there is no possible way that anything can be done. This is not gonna sit here on me, which it looks a little ridiculous maybe, but around back it could have been kind of cute. All right, so it's gonna have to sit. The only problem is uh, when it is full, and it is full, it doesn't have my phone in it, but it has everything else. And I'll show you what fits into it. Um, when it's here, uh, yeah, it, you can, like literally I can take this off. Uh, it could come on and off like a skirt. And as this uh, wears, I'm sure that it's going to get to be even like looser and more comfortable, not as stiff. And it's just gonna, it's just gonna slide right off. So if you are a petite person, I would say, and you wanna wear this as a bum bag, here, let me just slide that off. Uh, and you want to wear this as a bum bag, it's not really going to happen for you. But let me show you how cute it looks if we, I like to put it in the middle here. I take it and there are eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm sorry, there are seven holes. And just put it right in the middle. So you got three on one side and three on the other. And then take this buckle and move it. So that it's, you know, I kind of like it halfway, uh, like this. Maybe even give it like a little bit more this way, and then put it on like this. It's like a little crossbody bag. This I absolutely love. I think this is cute. I think it's stylish. I love the fact that it's bigger than the Palm Springs Mini, and I can bend down to like work with my daughter, play with her, whatever, and it's not gonna fall forward. I know one of the biggest things that people have said about the Palm Springs Mini is the fact that the straps are really long. Well, this is adjustable in this way, so it's the idea of a backpack, but it's more like a sling pack. It's super cute. I love it. I love the handle. I know people have been talking about the handle and they're like, oh, I don't know. No, I love the handle. Look, it's just like, that's adorable. I love it. I think it's just perfect. So even though this can never be worn as a belt bag for me, I just see so many pros on this bag as a sling pack, as just like a little handheld. I think it's so cute. For reference, just in case you're wondering, I'm five feet, two inches tall, so you did notice it does look larger in here. And 
Let's bust out the tape measure. I realize I'm wearing stuff that's more fitted and therefore that if I were to put it over a coat, like maybe we could make this work in the winter, but it's not the winter, it's the end of April, so what happens. So for reference, I am, I'm gonna go with 23 inches. Technically, I'm probably about 22 here and then fully dressed on my hips. Um, 30, 31 and a half maybe is what we're looking at over top of the, the jeans. The jeans are from Hollister and they are a, a 20, 23 inch waist petite. So if for reference, if you um, fall within that size range and you wanna wear an actual belt bag, the Gucci one does work, but you can't wear it sling body in the smallest size. Let's just get into what you can fit in this bag. Like I said, I think that this is an awesome bag. You have the top handle here, you have the one strap, you have the large compartment up in front, and then you have this adorable little zipper pocket in the back. And the zipper pocket is perfect for a card case. So I have the YSL card case in there. I can just grab it and uh, I think that's extremely easy. In the front, there's so much room. Like I said, this is more spacious than the Palm Springs Mini. And what I have is I have a mini pochette, a key clay, a nutrition bar, because I am going to work and I don't know, if, uh, they're serving lunch and I don't know if I'm gonna like what's on the menu, so. A clutch size lipstick by Tom Ford in the color, I kid you not, Carolyn, ha, huh. can you see that? I had to buy it, right? My Urban Decay lip liner, obviously it doesn't take up too much room, a pen. Another lip product, I have the Buxom Little Sample in Claire. My friend Paula really loves that color and I can see why now. A bath, no, body shop moisturizer, some sunglasses in a really sad looking YSL case. I don't, yeah, I know, that's very sad. My headphones and a charger for my phone. And then of course my card case is in the back. And so in the Palm Springs Mini, I would normally just have my sunglasses, my key clay, my card case, and my mini pochette. I would not have room for any of the other things. I would put a lip product in here and that would be it. So the fact that I'm able to carry all of these other items makes this a good bag for the crossover between home life and work life. I have just enough room to put stuff in that I would need for work, like my charger, like my headphones and my nutrition bar and the pen like it's just it's enough it really works out extremely well this is the well i shouldn't say that because this is the first day i'm actually using it uh but i will you know what i'll do a review in a few weeks and let you know how it goes i will use this bag exclusively for one week and i will let you know how it goes because i have a myriad of things that i need to accomplish over the next week and um, I think that this is a perfect little travel bag and it'll be a perfect time to test it out. So if you are interested in ordering this bag, it is back ordered. I was number 101 on the list. They gave me a wait time of three months and I got it in a month and a half. So uh, it, it was pleasantly surprised. The wait list was not as robust as I had thought or they're pumping them out and it was it literally came like everything was um, in protective wrap. Even the zippers were in their protective wrap. This was clearly a brand new, never before touched bag. And it is gorgeous and I love it and I will be keeping it. Even though I, I just can't join the fanny pack brigade because uh, it doesn't, it's not gonna work. Uh, thank you for watching and if you're interested, you can check out my channel to see my Gucci Marymount review that I did a few months ago. Uh, and you can compare and contrast and decide which bag would be right for your collection.